This short video shows the effect of power line adapter devices on shortwave broadcast reception. The video has been made using a professional monitoring test set connected to a good external antenna with a pair of Comtren PLAs in the house. First, let's look at a Russian language service on 15665 kHz. A good signal with the PLAs turned off. And as soon as the PLAs are turned on, Perfect reception once the PLA is off. Now the English language service of Radio China International. Too long we've treated these environmental challenges, particularly in relation to climate change. What impresses me about the Chinese initiative, particularly in this last year... Again, we can hear the PLA interference as soon as the device is switched on. Now the Deutsche Welle high-quality DRM broadcast service. He became a father figure too, because he was just such Notice a... Notice when the PLA device is switched on, the signal-to-noise ratio reduces and dropouts begin. Both mom and dad, we actually had adoption, but we just adopted each other and it was great. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> when, when did the idea of becoming a priest first enter your... And growing up in my church, there was youth fellowship. And in, in a sense, I'd like to think that I cut my... On some frequencies, the power line adapters are notched so that admissions do not exceed EN55022. Here's 21 megahertz. Notice the absence of interference in the notch. That's the protection that EN55022 affords. This short video has shown the effect of PLA devices on shortwave radio reception. PLA devices must, in the RSGB view, be subject to a standard which fully meets the essential requirements of the European EMC Directive. Any standard must properly recognise the needs of radio users and the requirements of current European Union legislation.